Meme is one of the easiest and most universal sounds and is found in almost every single language on earth. In the Holy Quran, it is also an easy sound as long as it has a short vowel on top or under it. And you'll pronounce it normally like in these examples. So meme with a short vowel has nothing special since you pronounce it like any other letter. Even when meme has sukun, which is this sign on top or no sign at all, you'll still pronounce it normally just like any other letter, like in these examples. So, when the meme has short vowel, there is no problem. And when it has sukun, there is also no problem. So, where is the problem then? The problem is that when the meme sekina, and that is meme that has sukun or no vowel, is followed by a ba or meme, then you'll have to make some changes. First, if what comes after the meme sekina is a ba, then you'll extend the meme for two harakat, which is about one second, like in these examples. وَمَا هُمْ بِخَارِجِينَ مِنَ النَّارِ so in the first example, we see that the meme has nothing on top or under it. So this means it has sukun and is followed by a ba. So that's why we extended the meme for two harakat and we said, وَمَا هُمْ In the next example, the meme is followed by a ba, and the third example has the exact same story. Notice that the meme has to have sukun for this to work, and this effect disappears if there is a vowel on top or under the meme, even if it is followed by a ba, like in these examples. لا طاقة لنا اليوم بجالوت وجنوده يدعون إلى كتاب الله ليحكم بينهم. So we see in these two examples that the meme has a vowel on top and it is followed by a ba, but in this case nothing special happens and we will pronounce it normally as any other meme. So, meme sakina followed by a ba gives us an extended meme for two harakat. Second, if meme sakina is followed by a word beginning with another meme, you will merge both memes together, producing one meme with two harakat, like in these examples. وَلَا تُخْرِجُونَ أَنفُسَكُمْ مِنْ دِيَارِكُمْ فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ مَا عَرَفُوا كَفَرُوا بِهِ إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ So here we didn't separate the two memes, even though they are both in two separate words. But we merged them in one single meme. So you cannot say, وَلَا تُخْرِجُونَ أَنفُسَكُمْ مِنْ دِيَارِكُمْ So we don't separate them, but instead we merge them in one meme. Third, if meme is added to itself, or in other words, it is a duplicated meme with a shadda on top. And when this happens, you'll always extend it for two harakat as well, like in these examples. وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أُولَٰئِكَ عَلَىٰ هُدًى مِّن رَبِّهِمْ 
فلما أنبأهم بأسمائهم Notice that in the first two examples we have meme that has shadda on top of it and in both examples we extended the meme for two harakat. In the third example we have the same thing and we also have a meme that is followed by a ba. So we extended both of them for two harakat like so. فَلَمَّا أَنْبَأَهُمْ بِأَسْمَائِهِمْ One important thing to keep in mind, and that is to notice the difference between these examples. ثُمَّ مَا أَدَرَاكَ مَا يَوْمُ الدِّينَ أَنَّ مِنْكُمْ مُكَذِّبِينَ Notice that in the first example, there are two memes that follow one another. But we did not merge them into one meme, because the first meme of the two does not have sukun. So, we did not say, ثُمَّ أَدَرَاكَ That is not correct. So we have to separate them and say, ثُمَّ مَا the second example, however, the meme second was first. So in this case, you can safely merge them into one meme and say minkum Another example with the same comparison. Here's exact the same story. When the meme has vowel, you will pronounce it separately, even if it is followed by another meme. But when meme sakena comes first and is followed by another meme, you will merge them into one single meme. Here's a final example that shows the difference in one single A. Notice that the first meme in this example is merged with the second meme. The meme at the end of the word خَلَقَنَاكُمْ has sukun and is therefore merged with the meme of min. So we say خَلَقُنَاكُمْ min. But the following meme in this ayah has a vowel on top of it. So we did not merge it and we pronounced both of them. So to summarize, meme must be lengthened if it is followed by ba or meme or if it is added to itself, giving us a meme with shadd. And all of this will be lengthened for two harakat. And meme is not lengthened and normally pronounced if it has a vowel on top or underneath. And when it is followed by anything except ba or meme. Now it's time for a bonus this time. And it is also related to our lesson. In one single position in the Holy Quran, you will see a ba sakina added to a meme with shadda. And in this single case, you will completely merge the ba with the meme if you keep on reading. And it will sound like this. Ya bunayyar kam ma'ana wa la takum ma'al kafirin. So the ba completely disappeared or was completely merged with the meme that followed it. So we said, Irkam ma'ana. And we cannot say, Ya bunay yarukab ma'ana. That is not the correct pronunciation. But if you stop at the word, you will normally pronounce the bet as any other bet. Like so. Ya bunay yarukab. Ya bunay yarukam ma'ana. Another interesting ayah related to today's lesson too and is found in the same surah, Surah Hud, is this ayah. And in this ayah, you will see that there are five memes that follow one another in a row. And this is how you pronounce it. وَعَلَىٰ أُمَمٍ مِّمْ 
معك And in order to understand why I skipped a tanween at the end of umam or the noon at the end of mimmen, you need to check this lesson out to understand why this happened. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something new today. If you did, please like and share the video for other people to learn from it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.